How to divide fractions. I have two and one fourth pound of chocolate. If I want to make mini cakes and each cake needs two thirds of that chocolate, how many cakes can I make? So we need to figure out two and one fourth divided by two thirds. So here's our drawing part one. I have my two bars of chocolate and I've cut them up into fourths, but then I still have a fourth remaining. So two-thirds could also equal to eight-twelfths. So here are still my two bars and my little remaining. So now I want to make them into twelves. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now I'm going to do that with both my bars. Then I want to make them into groups of eight. So here's one group of eight in the yellow and another group of eight and another group of eight. But then, what do we do with the three remaining? So, as you saw, we got three complete groups. But what, you do with, but what do you do with the three pieces that are remaining? Well, for sure, we got three groups. And the groups we made were out of eight. So, we need to put three as the whole number. And then another three as the numerator, because that's how much was remaining. Then eight as a denominator, because we are doing it in groups of eight. So, our final answer is three and three eighths. So solving this number, solving this problem with numbers, the very first step is to make two and one fourths into an improper fraction. So here's two and one fourths, and then what you have to do is four times two plus one, and then you get nine fourths. So as you saw, we made the two and one fourths into nine fourths, and then you have to make the two thirds into a reciprocal, which means you have to switch the numerator into the denominator and the denominator into the numerator. And that is called the reciprocal, which basically means to flip the numbers. So the full number sentence is two and one fourths divided by two thirds, which also would say nine fourths times three twos divided by equals 27 eighths, which would equal three and three eighths. And the way we got three and three eighths is because since 27 eighths is an improper fraction and we want to make it into a proper fraction, we know eight times three equals 24. And that's as close as it can get. So 24 plus 3 equals to 27. So then you do 3 because 8 times 3 is 24. And then 8 as the denominator because we're doing it in groups of 8. So 3 and 3 eighths. That's your answer.